Hello, this is Ken. I'm doing another card video, and today, uh, this is my Hall of Fame, uh, card showing. Now, I got some Hall of Fame cards that were still Perez, and, uh, before I show these, I need to get some cards out of the way. First, I uh, got these from my Bruins binder. I think these are my 81 Bruins. We have uh, Terry Riley, O'Reilly. Then we have Dwight Foster. And then I have Rick Middleton. All right, uh, I gotta show these off cause these are going into my binder. Gotta open this one. All right, uh, I'm gonna show this one right here. This is Manny Sagilian of the Pirates. That's just a very nice card. That'll be going on a vintage page of the NL. <clears throat> then I got Lance Parrish. Now he's like the, in the top 10 of home run hits for a catcher. And then I got uh, Johnny Bench, who would lead third all time of home runs for a catcher. All right, uh, I gotta turn this thing back on. All right, there we go. I wanna show these off. Uh, these are my Hall of Fame Steel Perez cards. First, uh, I want to show this. This is Kirby Puckett. Now, that's a great card. Uh, I was actually ordering another card. And they sent me this by mistake. And uh, I was looking for the old, uh, real old cards of the Hall of Famers. But they gave me that. Uh, I tried to get back with them. They never did get back. So I just kept it. All right. I got these displayed on my wall. So I got a Jack, uh, Jack Chesbro. Now Jack Chesbro was a two time wins leader with 28 and 41 wins. And he was also, uh, one had 20 win seasons six times. All right, then I got uh, Amos Russi. He was a five-time strikeout leader. There's his card right there. That just looks awesome. And I'll let y'all... That's how the backs look like on these cards. But here we go. Then I got Robin... Moranaville. Now, uh, he led in uh, all bats and uh, all played appearances all time at one time or for the year or something like that. Yeah, for the season. He was also uh, a great defensive player. So I think he went in for his great defensive skills. So there's his card. Let you see the back. All right, everybody, everybody knows who this one is. This is Cy Young. Uh, he has 511 wins. That's a that's just great. I think uh, Nolan Ryland got up to 500. I don't remember if he beat the record. He may have. Uh, there is uh, Cy Young. That's just an awesome card. Then I got uh, Hornus Wagner. Now everybody knows Hornus Wagner has the most expensive baseball card out there because he was printed on a tobacco card and he was not a user of tobacco and did not want his picture out there, but it got out there on the card. Uh, he was an eight-time... Uh, 
batting leader champion. Also led with five five season of stolen bases. So that's just a great card of his there. All right. Then we have Clark Griffiths. He was an ERA leader and had tw seven 20 win seasons. And uh, actually, when I got this card, I was trying to get this card. And they shipped me that one. So I had a, went to another, went to another uh, dealer on eBay and bought it off of that one. All right, one more thing. <clears throat> now, uh, I got a nephew that play that used to play uh, semi-professional for Fairbanks uh, Ice Dogs uh, hockey, and he also used to play for uh, Manhattan University. He played hockey there. Uh, he didn't go pro. He could have, but. Uh, when he went to Toronto, he went to see the Hockey Hall of Fame. And he picked this up for me. And uh, his two sons, uh, is Zach and Jake. Jake's a big hockey fan. He collect cards. And I've been giving them cards. But Anton Racklin got me this. This is great. This is this awesome. I'm going to hit this again. This is this great hockey puck right here. I really, really like this. You know, if you can feel it, you can feel the logo. And I'm going to show this real quick. If you look, uh, let's see, way up there, there's my hockey puck collection. And I will be putting it there. All right, uh, it will be going on the wall. All right, that's all I got for today. Looking forward to the NFL draft. And uh, I hope Miley, Miami Marlins uh, is just a team that's in Florida right now that is close to where I live. I uh, hope they pull it out. Hope they get some wins. But uh, probably soon I'll be uh, seeing the Texas Rangers play as of next year because I just got my job. be moving to Texas uh, in September. Looking forward to that. So uh, if, go off, if I go off the air for a while around uh, probably July. Yeah, July. Uh, Y'all will know I'm packing the stuff up and moving. So that's all I got for today. Everybody be safe out there. Be nice to each other. And thank you for watching this video.